The launch of NVIDIA and MediaTek's highly anticipated N1X ARM-based CPU has been delayed to the first quarter of 2026, according to multiple reports. The most recent came from Digitimes, but I started to suspect it had missed its original predicted launch at Computex this year when it didn't show up at Computex this year. According to supply chain sources cited by Digitimes, the delay is related to Microsoft's roadmap for their next-gen OS being slower than expected. Presumably, NVIDIA wouldn't want to launch a fancy new chip that doesn't work well with Windows 12, or as Microsoft is more likely to brand it, Windows 11 Copilot AI Plus 365 Copilot. Now, this reason for the delay clashes slightly with the one given in previous reports from notoriously semi-accurate and self-aware rumor outlet Semi-Accurate, whose sources apparently pointed to NVIDIA having issues with the hardware design. Honestly, they could both be right. While Qualcomm's Snapdragon X laptop chips are impressive hardware-wise, Microsoft's inability to implement as graceful of a solution as Apple's Rosetta 2 during their ARM transition has remained the biggest obstacle to Windows on ARM adoption. Which may be why, after first launching a line of ARM-powered surfaces, Microsoft added Intel versions, including the just-announced Surface Laptop 5G, which, true enough, doesn't have any arms at all. Now, I've seen the comments about not wanting so much AI news, and I hear you, but this story might affect all of us. So let me do this one, and then I'll never say the words AI again. I promise. The Trump administration has released its AI Action Plan, a wide-ranging set of recommendations that calls for less AI regulation and more allocation of energy and resources to accelerate AI development and compete with China. The new Action Plan replaces the Biden administration's executive order on AI, which mandated that AI companies adhere to safety requirements and provide regular transparency reports in case one of their AIs becomes conscious and eats a researcher, you know, like, should probably be required to let us know about that. And while the 10-year moratorium on states passing their own AI laws was removed from the big, beautiful bill before it passed, the new action plan calls for federal agencies to limit AI-related funding to states with burdensome AI regulations. But it also notes that states can pass AI rules that aren't unduly restrictive to innovation. Very gracious, Saya. Thank you, we'll be careful. Now, to be fair, several recommendations in the action plan will, if carried out, benefit useful applications of AI, like tools to help with diagnosing medical issues and figuring out what ancient Romans were squiggling to each other while passing notes in class. Socrates sic tediosum. <laughs> <laughs> but calling for less oversight on AI development is coming at a weird time. The plan was announced a day after Sam Altman predicted an AI voice-driven banking fraud crisis at a Federal Reserve event and the publication of multiple concerning AI papers. One of them, from a joint research group, details the issue of subliminal learning. Basically, the researchers fine-tuned a model to have a preference for owls and then had that model generate a set of three-digit numbers and nothing else, then fine-tuned another model using that number set. It was just numbers. And when asked for its favorite animal, that second model, which had answered dolphin previously, also said it likes owls. Now replace owls with blackmail. And maybe you see the problem here. As explained by one of the researchers, this means that predilections towards recommending the eating of glue and solving all of your problems with murder are harder to filter out of AI models than we thought. And to top it all off, another paper was published yesterday by 40 researchers from OpenAI, Google, Meta, Anthropic, and elsewhere, warning that as AI development continues, it may become harder to understand these models' inner workings, not easier, in some dimensions at least. I mean, do they like me? Who knows what they're thinking? Possibly something about our sponsor. Enable, the IT software experts whose whole job is to make your job easier. Enable's N-Central remote monitoring and management solution can help IT professionals patch everything, scan for vulnerabilities, and automate security tasks all from one dashboard. And we're talking serious endpoint resilience here. Because instead of running around putting out fires that are hopefully only metaphorical, you can use Enable's built-in security tools that prevent, detect, and respond to threats in a calm and 
controlled manner. If you manage a fleet of devices and want less firefighting, more peace of mind, check out Enables and Central RMM solution using our link in the description. <laughs> I'd like to see you try to regulate these quick bits. <laughs> Hands off! After the Switch 2 set a sales record in June, market research company Circana has confirmed that Nintendo's latest console is the fastest selling piece of gaming hardware in US history, narrowly edging out the hoop and stick. It's another reminder that for every single person screaming online about how evil Nintendo is, there are a dozen lovely Midwesterners who just want to smash stuff as Donkey Kong in their enormous, affordable houses out in the middle of nowhere. F happy for you. More than 400 firms were breached during the cyber attacks on Microsoft SharePoint servers this week, according to iSecurity, who first spotted the attacks. Microsoft claims that Chinese state-sponsored hackers are behind all this, which makes it a little concerning that the National Nuclear Security Administration was among the breached entities. But yeah, honestly, that's that's nothing new. They also got breached during the solar wind cyber attacks of 2020. This happens all the time. Yeah, it's chill. Sony is doing their part to fight climate change by nerfing the PlayStation 5's performance, which should really take a chunk out of, out of this issue. The company said on the PlayStation blog that a new power saver mode will soon be available as part of their Road to Zero environmental initiative. Turning it on is optional, but if you're a good person, <laughs> you will. Sure, your game might chug a little bit, but you'll almost be able to feel the environment healing itself. <laughs> and also maybe this means a real PlayStation handheld is on the way, so. You can play that outside in the environment. Meta has shown off a prototype wristband it affectionately referred to as a surface electromyography research device, which is, is whatever. You can use it to control computers with gestures. The Meta team demoed the wristband, deciphering a finger writing on a table to input text, small wrist movements for motion control, and even little hand gestures. Personally, I've seen a ton of prototypes for devices exactly like this come and go for 10 years. So while it's not a new idea, it'd be nice if one of them actually stuck around. Where are they going? <laughs> Take me with you. And Google has added photo to video generation technology to Google Photos, of all things. So you can take these magical windows into your own personal past and turn them into fun little videos of false memories. Aw, look at that cute thing you did in this video. That never happened. Remember when we were all on the beach together and we didn't do that? Aw, it was cool to see though. Google, stop sending my mom this stuff. Google, stop sending my mom stuff. <laughs> and stop watching this video because it'll be over. Right after I tell you to come back on Friday for more tech news. Whew, that was close. AI, damn it, I'm sorry.